Hey everybody, Brad Stevens here with Sunjammers Water Sports in Panama City Beach, Florida. Filming this today is the Redfish Ranger. Be sure to go check out all of her videos at youtube.com forward slash Redfish Ranger. You will be blown away at her photography skills, making her blush. I wish y'all could see this. Anyway, today we are talking about the 2013 Mirage Pro Angler 14. They redesigned it off this bad boy right here, which is the Pro Angler 12. Pro Angler 12 is about 120 pounds long, about 12 feet long, and oh, roughly 32 inches wide. I use inside dimensions, that's all that really matters. And then in this side of the ring over here, we have the Pro Angler 14. 14 feet long, about 138 pounds. You're going to gain an inch or two here to bring this up to about 34 inches. I got my good friend here, Mr. Stanley, so we're going to walk around these two boats, compare, talk about some advantages over one, over the other. And they aren't really advantages, they're just personal preferences. So we're going to call them personal preferences. I don't know which one's better, to be honest with you. Starting up front, everybody wants to know where they're going to keep their catch, their drinks, their lunch. You got about 28 inches of length on this one. Front hatch about 19 inches wide. And a grand total depth of about 13 inches or so here. And these front liners are completely removable on both boats. So now that was the dimensions for the 14. Over here on the 12, you are giving up quite a bit of storage on the bow space up here. You're about 18 inches here, length, with a width of about 16 or so inches, and the grand total depth of about 10 inches. Uh, something's in the way. About 11 inches here. Once again, both of these front compartments are completely re removable. Be careful, though, if you get too much weight in the front of your boat, you kind of need to balance it out in the back, and we'll talk about that in a second. Sliding back on the Pro Angler 14, you have six under the, under the deck rod holders, three on each side. These are rod tubes that actually slide up into the bow, just like on those high-end bass boats. And this is a feature that was also very popular on the original, the V1 Pro Angler 14. Slide over here to the Mirage Pro Angler 12. You are giving up one rod holder. Um, so you have four below the decks over here, and you have six over here. Sliding back, they both still have the exact same tackle management system. The deck pads here for standing. Of course, I keep forgetting to talk about on these boats, but all built around the Mirage Drive. Click and go. You're very familiar with that. Accessory boards on both sides. These are basically mirror images in the middle part of the boat. The distance that in the cockpit from the front of the seat to the firewall is about 34 inches on the 14. Slide over here, and you're about 33 inches on the 12. Once again, the width, about an inch or so difference. One noticeable difference here, um, you need room for your rod butts to slide back into here. This boat's shorter, you don't have as much um, bow space for your rod tips to go. So they modified the cockpit here on the side without sacrificing your storage area here. But on the 14, you got that plenty of room up front. So you actually have more of your rod tips um, inside the bow. Sliding back where all the business is done for storage, live wells, ice chest, all that good stuff. We're having about 33 inches of uh, measurement here on the Pro Angler 14. On the Pro Angler 12, we're having right over at about 30 inches. And on the width, we're going to go, oh, just shy of the rod holders at the widest point. We're about 30 inches on this boat. And we are 30 inches on this boat. So they're actually almost carbon copies back here on the back end. They both have the rudders that are actually slightly forward on the boats, giving them, they're very quick and very nimble. To control that rudder, you have dual steering. You have steering on both of your granny rails. And of course, if you saw our video about the Pro Angler 12, you know how much I love and everybody loves the Vantage seating. Um, completely adjustable, um, raises up, slides down. And we can just sit here all day long and talk about um, the advantage of the Vantage seat, but there's videos already for that. The Redfish Ranger did a few of them. If you have any questions on any of these boats, give us a call and tackle box. Everybody wants to see the tackle box. Pick this up, rotate it 90 degrees. You have this lovely tackle management system here. What's nice about this boat as well as the 14 is how easy this removes. They have an accessory bucket that pops down in here that I do not have yet. And we like, we're putting our battery boxes right up here, um, which then runs all of your internal wiring. This is Lawrence ready. You can do your full DSI Lawrence on both models. Um, they're both anchor trolley ready. They're just beautiful boats. Um, we got them in the warehouse and we shipped in the lower 48 states. Go online, sunjammers.com, pick up the phone and call us. Tweet us, whatever you need to do. We'll be sure you get the boat in the color you need.